we've only been here less than a month, but it feels like we've gotten nothing done. Some days it feels like we've gotten a lot done, but mostly I look around and I feel like there's so much more still to be done, and that becomes overwhelming. And maybe the problem was there was just too much to be done, and my expectations of what I could accomplish in a short period of time was unrealistic. Um, I've never started a flower farm before, and the amount of cleanup and maintenance that has had to happen prior to actually starting, prior to actually putting seeds in the ground, has been much more than I was expecting, and having to wait on people to come in and do their part, all of the items that needed checked off the list were short. Uh, to have a brush hog come out, I think it took four days, but that was four more days. And when I ordered dirt, that took three or four days, which was three or four days. And that was nobody's fault. That was the weather. It had rained. And when I needed a mower, ours was broken. And so that took a day or two to get fixed. And none of these things took a long time. But when you add them up, it was enough time. Enough time that I feel hurried, that I feel like I haven't accomplished anything, that I feel looming deadlines, that there's no way I can meet. And so I've had to come to the conclusion that I need to push some of my expectations back on the timeline. Here is a bed that we started, but I didn't have a mower or a tractor or anything. And dirt was delivered and I wanted to get started so I used the wagon to bring all of this dirt over and then it was just too hot it was too hot to be pulling wagon fulls of dirt and then we had storms and every day we had storms so some things just couldn't get done because of the rain and other things can't get done when it's 101 degrees and crazy humidity. Here's an arbor that we ordered and it sat in the yard so long that the cardboard rotted. There's some bricks that I need to put on the paper when we plant the pumpkins. The pumpkins are still in the sunroom and uh, need to mow and I need to probably wait till the pumpkins are a little older. There's straw and a fire pit. The fire pit needs to be placed in the center of the flower field, which means we need to measure. There's the dirt out there, which will someday get moved when we rent a front loader. But Nobody wants to use a front loader when it's 101 degrees out. So we wait, and we'll wait just a little bit longer. And in the meantime, we'll enjoy the views while trying to remain calm about the future because we can't control the future. And I keep trying to remind myself that everything will come in its own good time can't rush anything that's not meant to be, and I can't slow it down anything that's meant to happen. 
So when the time comes and everything falls into place, whether that be this year or spring of 2024, that's when the flowers will get planted and that's when progress will be made. And I say that and even now I'm thinking to myself, progress has been made. Why do you say things that make it sound as if you're a failure when that's not true? If I were to make a list of everything that we've gotten done on this property already, and it hasn't even been a month, it was a lot. And I really need to focus on that. Maybe I need to keep that list in front of me. The piles of trash that the previous owners left, those will all need to be cleaned up. makes me angry. There are piles of trash everywhere and if we just have a roll away come and we fill it up it will cost thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars that I'd rather spend on getting the flower farm up and working and not cleaning up the mess that someone else left behind. In the meantime I need to slow down and enjoy our property and enjoy the freedom that we have here and the sunsets I get to enjoy every night and the calm that we all feel being out away from the city, able to enjoy some quiet without crazy neighbors burning things, or chopping things, or yelling, or letting off fireworks, all the things that happen when you live right in the middle of a neighborhood on a quarter acre lot next to everybody else with their quarter acre, their little yards. Now I can take a walk in peace the cat and nobody's talking to me and nobody's complaining about work or their family or whatever's going on in their house. I can just have peace and enjoy the sunset. Now Jingles wants to walk with me. I'm checking on things to remind myself of everything that's been accomplished. Today I worked on writing a grant and a grant proposal and started thinking about our one year, three year, and five year plans for this flower farm. And I'm excited. It all seems very attainable. If not today, someday in the future. And there are resources to make it happen. There's my clematis. It will be climbing up a trellis to hopefully shade the sunroom a little bit from the south side. There's an Althea plant that's supposed to get big and hopefully provide shade through that window. The sun just beats down there in the afternoon. But every night I come out and watch the sunset. Quinn enjoys the night air. It's so hot out here. He doesn't have a great time during the day. Rabbits don't like heat. He's a sweet boy. I 
female rabbits are out here too. They all become active at dusk. Now I have two kitty friends following me. Well, now that I've taken a 10 minute reminder that I need to be kind to myself because I have made progress and we are on the path to success. I think it's time to sit down, enjoy the semi-cool air. We were outside a little bit today, but it was so hot. I had my feet in the pool earlier. But now I'm just gonna sit down and take this time to remember what's important and that my goals are possible and I will succeed. Thanks for joining me.